Okay, so it's day 18 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and I have another interesting problem for today. Now, as you can see, this is the problem statement. We basically need to write a query to find out the employees who attended all the company events. So we have been given two input tables. There is an employee table and there is an events table. The employee table has information about four different employees, their ID and their name. And the events table has information about the different events that happened in the company, the employees who attended those events, and then the date when this event happened. Okay. Now we need to use these two tables to identify who were the employees who attended all the events. And the output should look something like this. Okay. Now you know what you need to do. You will find all the materials to download from my blog as well as from my Discord server. Try to solve it using any database and then share your solutions on Discord. Okay. I'll be solving it using the PostgreSQL database. I have already created the two tables. Now, as always, the first thing we do before solving the problem is to come up with a logic that we can use. Right. Now, if I go and look at this data that I have in the events table, I can see that there are these three employees, one, three, and four who attended the product launch. Okay. Then the employees two, three, and four attended the conference. Okay. And then there are these employees three, two, and four who attended the training. Okay. Now you can see four is mentioned twice because they attended the training for two different days. Okay. Now, basically among this data, if I have to see who are the common employees who attended all the three events, I can easily tell, I think it was three and four is present for product launch, three and four is also present for conference and three and four are also present for the training, right? And that is why I am having Charles and Saints because three and fours belong to these two employees. In order to solve this problem, first of all, I'll just use the events table. I'll just put it here. Okay. And then what I need to do is I have these many employee IDs here, right? And these are all the events. If I could just aggregate the data based on the employee IDs and the count the number of events that they have attended. Okay. Hopefully I can start there. So what I'll do is I'll just say select start from events group by employee ID, right? And then here I'm just going to say employee ID and I want to count, right? I want to count how many times they are basically present. Okay. How many events have they actually attended in total? So here I can just tell count of event name, right? And this one, I'll just call it like number of events. And if I just run this, you can see that. And let me just sort the data order by employee ID. And if I just run this, you can see that employee one has totally attended one event. Employee two has attended three event. Employee three has attended three event and employee four has attended four events. Okay. Now, if I look carefully in the events table, there are only three events that happened. So how did this employee four attend four events? It's because he, the, that, that particular employee attended the training event in two different days, right? And that is why there are two entries. Now we do not want to count just the number of times the employee attended every event. We want to count how many unique events they have attended, right? So for that, instead of just fetching the count of event name, if I just do a distinct here, okay? And now if I just run this, now you can see that employee one has attended still one event, employee two, only two events. If I see here, uh, employee two attended the conference and employee two also attended the training, right? That is why two records here. Whereas employee three and employee four, I'm getting three rec three as the count. Okay. Three are the number of events because these three and four are basically present in all the three events that actually happened. Right. So it looks like if I could somehow filter the data such that I only fetch wherever they have attended all the events, that should be my final solution. Right. And I'm just going to do that by, because I'm already using the group by whenever I have to filter the grouped data, what I can do is I can just use the having clause, right? And I know this is basically my total events, right? Wherever my count of distinct event will match with the total number of events, I should be able to fetch that record. But how do I get the total number of events that actually happen? That one I can easily get by just doing select count of distinct event name from the events table. If I run this, it will tell me three in tomorrow. If there are more data added, if more events happen, this query should still work, right? So this is, this query is going to give me the total number of events that happened. And whereas this uh, count of distinct event name is telling me how many 
events each employee attended right now here if i just do a comparison right i am in the having clause i am comparing how many events each employee attended with the total number of events that actually happened if they are a match and this will always return three for this table right and here it will only match with those employees who attended all the three events right hopefully with this i should get my final output now if i run i'm getting an error uh, let's say i'll just put this inside the parenthesis and now if i just run this now it's working and you can see that these are the only two employees who attended all the three events right three and four but i want the employee name so i'll just join this table with the employees table e on e dot id equal to ev dot employee id okay and here i'll just tell employee id instead of fetching employee id i'll just tell e dot name as employee name okay and i'll group the data based on employee name okay and sort it also by employee name and now if i just run this you can see that i'm getting charles and saints are the two employees who attended all the three events okay this is the exact output that i wanted okay so this is basically the solution to the problem it was a simple one but the interesting thing here is you should know how to use the having clause to filter the group data okay i hope you like this problem and i'll see you again tomorrow with another interesting problem bye